This is Preacher Rick, and I'm sure some of you have tuned in today to hear about the prophetess uh, Deborah. Uh, very seldom will you hear of a prophetess, but in the Bible we have Deborah, and boy what an inspiration she was. I'd like to read to you a little bit about her. Uh, Deborah, she was the third of the judges. She judged Israel. She was the third one who ruled Israel between the conquest and the establishment of the kingdom. In other words, uh, before they had the, the first king, Saul. And she's unique in the Old Testament because she is a female leader in her own right and is portrayed as dispensing justice while simply seating. And I think this is really neat. Uh, beneath a palm tree. She sat beneath a palm tree and judged Israel. So she had her own style. And that was somewhere between Bethel and Ramah. Anyway, during her time, the Israelites were almost constantly at war. Uh, with the Canaanites, and uh, God directed her to assemble an army to attack them in Jezreel Valley, uh, which the enemy dominated. Uh, she had trouble in persuading the tribes uh, to contribute men, but her faith and audacity on the battlefield overrode the caution of her general, which was Barak. Barak. And uh, they won a decisive victory near Mount T Tabor. The Canaanite general Sisera and I suppose that's how you pronounce his name, S-I-S-E-R-A. He was killed by a woman. She pinned him down with a nail through his temples, seeking refuge in the tent, in her, in her tent, in the tent of her husband, J.F. And 40 years of relative peace ensued. So uh, Deborah, by being a prophetess and listening to God, she prophesied that... God was going to be with them, and God ended up giving them 40 years of peace when they'd been in constant battle. And so you can only imagine how great that felt to the people of the Israelites at that time. 40 years of peace means a lot when you've been in battle, uh, to say the least. Anyway, let us pray. Lord, bless your word. And Heavenly Father, help us, dear God, to glorify you. Dear God, save the lost and bless your church and help us to learn of your ways and bless those that need to be blessed today. I pray in Jesus' name and amen. So I was thinking as I was reading this how very, very seldom you will read of a prophetess. As I said earlier, you don't read of a, a woman uh, amongst, of course, the 12 disciples. And you don't hear of women doing a whole lot of, of the leadership in the Bible. But occasionally you'll read about them. And uh, when you do, uh, it's so inspiring because it basically boils down to they, they do what a man can't do or won't do. And I've noticed in a lot of, lot of little churches sometimes the women have to, have to take over because there's no men there. Uh, there's no men, and, and men don't man up. You have to excuse an ambulance going by, uh, so that's what all the noise is. But uh, anyway... There she was, and uh, I could read so much scripture, but I won't. Uh, I'll not take a lot of time reading a lot of scripture. I want to get to her song, and it's so inspiring. But anyway, uh, she, it says in uh, Judges 4, 4, and Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of uh, Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time, and she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah. They called it the palm tree of Deborah, between Ramah, Ramah and Bethel in Mount Ephraim, and the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. And she sent and called her general Barak, the one I read to you about. And in verse 6, part of the verse says, Hath not the Lord God of Israel commanded, saying, Go and draw toward Mount Tabor, and take with thee 10,000 men? And she told, she told him, The Lord has said this. And ended up, they were, there were a lot of reluctance. But she said she went up with him in verse 10. He wanted her to go, and she did. And the Lord gave them a great victory. And every one of the enemy was killed, including the leader. And he was the one that was pinned to the, to the ground with a, a, a nail through his temple by a woman. And Deborah predicted that also. She let, let uh, Barak know that it was going to be a woman get the glory. And she did, and that 
and uh, she nailed him in, in uh, verse 21 Haber's wife took a nail of the tent and took a hammer in her hand and went softly unto him and smote the nail into his temple he was asleep and killed the leader and all of his men were already dead so that killed him off and God prophesied through her that that's how it was going to be and sure enough well in chapter 5 of Judges is her song song of Deborah and Barak and then sang Deborah and Barak the son of uh, Abednon on that day saying praise ye the Lord amen praise the Lord and she, it says in verse 3 I even I uh, will sing unto the Lord I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel thank God forever in verse 7 she, it said until that I Deborah arose and I arose a mother in Israel Thank God for a good, solid mother. Uh, thank God for good mothers. Thank God will to give us, they help us, give us deliverance. Uh, thank God and listen to the voice of God. Uh, it's time for the mothers to step up uh, and to rein their children in and let them know uh, uh, what God has said. Uh, prophesy to them, thank God, and let them know uh, that the end of time is near and it's time to get saved. Uh, uh, the rapture of the church is coming and who knows uh, what we're going to go through till that happens. Uh, but thank God for good mothers uh, and we can sing a song of deliverance like Deborah a rose that I rose a mother in Israel. Thank God. In verse 9, she said, Bless ye the Lord. Uh, so if you put some of her words together for a song, uh, thank God. She says, Praise ye the Lord. Uh, thank God. Uh, she said, I rose a mother in Israel. Uh, she said, Bless ye the Lord. Uh, in verse 9, thank God. Uh, in verse 12, she said, Awake. Uh, awake, uh, Deborah. Awake. Uh, awake, mothers. Thank God forever. Uh, oh, listen, we need to wake up. Uh, and we need to deliver our children. Thank God we delivered them here. You mothers delivered them. Uh, God gave you uh, uh, the ability to deliver our children. Thank God, uh, naturally speaking. And now uh, you need to uh, uh, spiritually deliver them from the evil that's coming in this world. Uh, thank God. Awake, awake, Deborah. Awake, awake. Utter a song in verse 12. Uh, Arise, Barak, uh, and lead thy captivity captive, thou son of uh, Abinamon. Uh, thank God the Lord made me have dominion over the mighty, she said in verse 13. Uh, uh. And it says, uh, thank God, uh, and the princes in verse 15 of Ish, uh, Akar, uh, uh, were with Deborah. Thank God. So the princes, uh, they saw that she was a woman of God. Uh, and there's nothing like a woman of God. Uh, uh, thank God to deliver a, a mother, uh, uh, to deliver her children. Thank God to help us uh, find our way home. Uh, thank God for a godly woman like uh, uh, this dear prophetess Deborah. Uh, and let me tell you, uh, uh, she was a saint of God that God used to deliver the children of Israel bring peace uh, in a time of turmoil. Uh, we're living in perilous times today, a time of turmoil, and we need our mothers uh, to step up. Uh, yes, we need the fathers, uh, but right now I want to preach to you uh, about the life of Deborah and how the mother stepped up. Uh, uh, thank God we need each one. Uh, we, Of course, we need the families to join together. We need the children uh, uh, to honor their mother and their father. Their days may be long upon the earth, uh, and the you might honor God, but we, uh, right now, I want to talk about uh, the deliverance. Uh, thank God that this dear saint uh, uh, brought to her nation and her people, uh, and the deliverance you can bring to your children uh, and your nation and your people today. Uh, if you'll step up to the plate and be the kind of mother and woman, uh, thank God uh, that God ordained for you to be. Uh, uh, thank God, chaste. Uh, thank God, and solid. Uh, uh, thank God, and uh, believes the prophecies uh, and lives the prophecies uh, thank God uh, and shares the prophecies uh, and and delivers uh, thank God your children uh, wake up uh, wake up uh, she even said uh, in her song herself awake Deborah she's singing to herself uh, awake uh, awake Deborah thank God awake awake utter a song arise uh, thank God it's time to get up uh, thank God and, uh, and and tell our kids uh, that Jesus is the answer uh, He's the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, no other name given amongst men uh, whereby you must be saved. Uh, I say glory to God. Uh, thank God for a good mother. Uh, thank God for a good judge. Uh, thank God for a good prophetess. Uh, thank God for a good deliverance. Uh, thank 
God uh, uh, for his goodness that leads us to repentance. Uh, thank God for Jesus. Uh, woo! Glory to God. Uh, I'm glad to be a Christian, aren't you? Uh, and I'm glad to report to you. Uh, thank God that God has his children out there. Uh, his men, his women, his dads, his moms, uh, his mothers, his fathers, his grandpas, his grandmas. Uh, thank God forever. And it's time we stepped up to the plate. Uh, it's time that we uh, uh, prayed over our meals. Uh, it's time that we told our kids uh, uh, what's going on in the world today, how ungodly it is, and how we need to get away from the ungodliness on the internet uh, and these smartphones, uh, how we need to step into the realms uh, of the godliness that God ordained for us to walk in, uh, how we need to repent of our sins and be born again, uh, how we need to walk in the pureness uh, and the goodness of God uh, and to walk away from sin and ungodliness uh, and uh, all the things that separate families and cause divorce uh, and harm uh, and uh, bring down people. Uh, it's time, thank God, that we wake up. Uh, wake up, mothers. Uh, thank God. Sing the song of Deborah. Woo! Glory to God. Bless ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Uh, thank God. Uh, I will sing in verse 3 of chapter 5. Uh, I will sing praise to the Lord God of Israel. I say glory uh, uh, to God. Uh, I, Deborah, arose, and I arose a mother in Israel. You're going to rise up as a mother in the church, uh, a mother that uh, declares the gospel to her children, uh, that brings in the sheaves, uh, thank God, and gets people saved while there's still time. Oh, thank God for this good message in the Bible today. Thank God for Deborah. Thank God for good praying mothers. Thank God for those that believe the prophecies and the word of God. Oh, it's a blessing to share this with you today. I hope it's been an encouragement. God bless you until tomorrow, beloved. It be the good Lord's will. We love you all. Until tomorrow, this is Preacher Rick. Bye-bye.